Let's now talk about another measure of location, which is the median. So the median is literally the middle value. IE is the value that divides the data set. into two halves the lo a lower half and an upper half for a data set with an odd number of observations so for odd number of observations The median is literally the uh, middle value. For a data set with an even number of observations, the median is the average of the two middle values. Okay. So now, how do you uh, how do you find the median? To find the median, you want to follow the following two steps. First off, you want to arrange your data from smallest to largest. In other words, you want to arrange your data in ascending order. Step two, you want to remove the outermost values one by one. So remove the outermost values one by one until there's one value or there are two values left in the middle if there is one value in the middle then the median is equal to that value and then if there are two values in the middle The median is going to be the average of those two values. Now this looks kind of abstract, right? So uh, let's look at some examples with um, spe uh, specific numbers. Suppose I have the following data set. Suppose my data set 
contains three, three, six, six, seven, nine, ten, twelve, and twelve. Let's go ahead and find the mean and the median of this data set. Now, first off, you should note that uh, the numbers have been arranging, have been arranged in um, ascending order, so that's good for us, right? That's uh, that takes care of the uh, the first step in finding the median. Let's calculate the mean. So to find the mean, you want to add up all these numbers and then divide by the number of items, right? In other words, you want to take 3 plus 3 plus 6 plus 6 plus 7 plus 9 plus 10 plus 12 plus 12 divided by here we have a total of nine observations, so you divide it by nine, and that gives you a mean of 7.56, okay? So that's straightforward. Now let's go ahead and find the median. Let me rewrite the numbers down here, so I have three, three, Six, six, seven, nine, ten, twelve, and twelve. What I want to do is wanna I want to remove the outermost values until I end up with one or two values in the middle. So let me first remove tw three and twelve, and then I want to remove three and twelve again, then six and ten. 6 and 9 so now I end up with one value in the middle right and that value is going to be equal to my median so the median in this case is going to be 7 now you may be wondering at this point why we even care about the median and that's a perfectly good question to, to ask. So, why care about the median? The answer to that question is that we care about the median because the median is a better measure of location if there are extreme data points in the data set. So let's look at uh, a quick example. Suppose I have income at a, at a small firm. Let's say I have salary in thousands of dollars and then I have the number of employees earning the, those salaries. Let's say I have four people earning $50,000, two people earning $60,000, two people earning $70,000, one person earning $80,000, and one person, probably the CEO, earning uh, $100,000. Let's go ahead and find the mean and the median of this data set. The first thing I want to do is is let's uh, let's arrange these numbers in uh, 
ascending order because I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do it anyway. Right? So if you arrange the uh, the salaries in ascending order, you're gonna have fifty appearing four times because you have four people earning fifty thousand dollars. And I, then I have two people earning sixty thousand dollars, so sixty appears twice. Seventy is gonna appear twice. Eighty appears one time, and then a hundred appears one time. Right? Now, if you do the math, that gives you a mean of sixty-four thousand. I'm not gonna show you the math, but at this point you should be able to uh, to calculate the mean on your own. Let's look at the median. To find the median, I want to remove the outermost values one by one until I end up with one or two values in the middle. So I'm going to remove 50, I remove 100, 50, 80, 50, 70, 50, 70. So I end up with two 60s in the middle. And so the median is going to be the average of those two numbers, which is $60,000. Now, suppose for a second, right? Let's say the CEO decides to pay himself or herself a million dollars instead. Right? So suppose a hundred becomes a thousand. Right. Let's calculate our mean and our median in this new data set. Now when a hundred becomes a thousand, that one thousand value is going to be an extreme data point. And the reason it is extreme is because it's so far from the rest of the of the values in our data set. So let's arrange the new data set from uh, smallest to largest. So I have 50 appearing four times. Then I have 60 appearing twice, 70 appearing twice, then 80, and all of a sudden I have a thousand. Now, if you work out the math, the mean is going to be 154. Okay, So all of a sudden, when we have an extreme value in our data set, the mean goes from being equal to 64 to being equal to 154. That's an increase of uh, 90. So the mean is uh, very easily influenced by extreme data points. But let's look at the median. So the median, we find the median by, again, removing the outermost values one by one until you find, one, until you end up with one or two values in the middle. Right? So if you, I remove 50, I remove 1,000, 50, 80, 50, 70, 50, 70. So I end up with 60 and 60 in the middle. And so the median is going to be the average of those two numbers, which is 60, which is unchanged from before. So when you have a data set with extreme data points, the median turns out to be a better measure of location than the mean because the mean is very easily influenced by, by those data, extreme data points. So in this video, we um, talked about the median. Right? We talked about how to find the median and then we did this uh, particular example where I showed you that um, when you have extreme data points in the data set, the median is a better measure of location than the mean because the mean can be uh, easily changed by, by those uh, data points.